So hey guys, one common question people often have when thinking about or just getting a new wood stove is how much wood they're going to need. I'll show you a little math equation that will give you a pretty good ballpark of, of what you need based off your previous uh, heating years. So there definitely are variables that you can't always control such as longer winters or maybe colder winters. So when kind of making some of these calculations, I would really suggest uh, trying to err on having too much firewood than not enough. So there's one other thing I wanted to point out real quick. There are some things that can also skew these numbers a little bit. Let's say you have a water heater or a dryer or an oven that uses whatever your fuel type is for heat. Obviously the more items you have on there, the, the more that stuff's gonna get used and uh, can kind of skew the numbers. So there are a couple of things that we're gonna have to round up here to give us a, a little bit more of an accurate prediction here. And that is how many BTUs we burn per winter, uh, the type of firewood that we're planting and how efficient that wood stove is. So for the very first thing, we need to figure out how many BTU, BTUs we burn per winter. For us, when we originally moved out here, the main primary heating source out here was propane. So you always kind of have a, a real good idea on how much propane. So for us, we have a 500 gallon propane tank and we usually fill out on average two times a winter. That's a thousand gallons of propane. So the next thing we'll do is we'll look at our heating source and figure out how many BTUs we get per gallon. So for fuel oil, you get 140,000 BTUs per gallon and with propane, you get 91,500 BTUs per gallon. Since our primary heating source is propane, we'll use that 91,500 BTUs and we'll times that by 1,000, and that should get, give us roughly around 91.5 million BTUs per winter. So the very next thing we have to do is actually take a look at how many BTUs come out of the species of firewood that we're gonna burn. And you know, I know you don't end up with a whole wood pile of oak or a whole wood pile of poplar or whatever. You know, usually there's kind of a blend, so you can you can kind of find a happy medium in there. So let's jump on Google real quick and let's search for firewood BTUs. There's definitely a lot of options out there for this type of information, and there are some minor variances in, in some of the data, but they're generally pretty close together. So it's kind of you know picking your poison, I guess, in some 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 ways. So I just selected this chimney sweep uh, online.com website and uh, we'll just take a real quick look for white oak. And you can see white oak has 24.2 million BTU units per cord of wood. So this will be a, a, another number that we need to gather up. You know, let's say I had some ash and some oak and, and something else. I could kind of try to find that happy medium. Let's say I had some poplar in there. Maybe I could bump that number down a couple steps. So the last little bit of information we have to round up is how efficient our wood stove is. Uh, we have a, an older style 70s technology type stove, you know, a closed stove. And on average, you kind of see 45 to 50% on, on those types of stoves. We see around 50%. And there are some factors that kind of play into that, you know, how well your gasket seals and uh, some different stuff like that. In order for a stove to be considered EPA uh, certified, it has to be 60% efficient or higher. Uh, I think most, kind of the average is around 70%. Uh, some of the really nice, like the Blaze King series, like Princess models and stuff, those are like somewhere in the, the mid to the low 80s in the efficiency. And uh, that can definitely make a, a pretty big difference. If you have an open fireplace, they say like 15% is like pretty good. So uh, just by putting an insert into your fireplace can make a, a drastic difference on uh, how efficient uh, that, that wood burns. So since our stove is 50%, I'm gonna put 0 0.50. I also ballparked it around 19 million uh, BTUs per core, just cause we have a lot of oak, we have a lot of ash mix in ours, but we do have some poplar and some softer woods as well. If you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of hardwoods, this number will probably be quite a bit lower, but keep in mind we're, we're talking about millions when you're working with cords. So now we just take these two numbers and we divide them by each other. So one other thing I wanted to point out too, I just made a, a couple quick examples of the same numbers, just with a different efficiency of stove. And you can see you just have, by having a more efficient stove, you burn a heck of a lot less wood. And when we're talking quartz here, I'm talking like a, a true cord of wood, four feet by four feet by eight feet. So a cord of wood is, is a lot of wood. 
So I also put together just a real quick sample slide here, all the same numbers, you know, 50% efficiency all the way across here, you know, just using my stove as an example, and the amount of BTUs that we use per winter. But this time I varied the, uh, the species of firewood. So for example, a poplar is around the 13 million BTUs per cord, you know, oaks around 24 million BTUs. So you can get an idea of just the amount of difference as well, and the amount of wood that you would need to burn per winter. Knowing your species of firewood can also go a really long ways. Uh, you know, you got a poplar laying on the ground and a, and a piece of oak and you got an hour to, to get work done. Where do you, where do you think uh, the time is best spent? So I found this to be a pretty accurate, I guess. Uh, last year was a pretty mild winter for us. We burned mostly hardwoods last year and I think we burned on average, or we burned about eight cords of wood. Granted, there were times we had overfed the stove and we had windows wide open and, you know, negative degree temps but um, it, it seems to be pretty accurate. You know, and these are numbers based off of, you know, years ago when we heated with, with propane. And realistically, we didn't use a thousand gallons of propane. We have a pretty efficient house. And we'd have to get it filled twice a winter, but a lot of times the remaining amount of propane would take us all the way to the following fall, when we'd have to get the propane tank uh, filled again. You know, our water heater is still running off of that. So I wanted to share this information. I think this is, can be very useful for some people, especially if you're just getting a stove or thinking about getting a wood stove and trying to get an idea on actually how much wood you need. Um, it definitely can be kind of helpful to, to get an idea on how much wood you gotta get cut and, and ready for the winter. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, uh, let me know by clicking that thumbs up and subscribing. Thanks for watching.